Hello everybody. Good morning. Well, I apologize to anybody with sensitive ears in advance because uh, this video on could use a few choice words because uh, this subject and these people that I'm talking about do not deserve the respect of kind sanitized words and uh, you know I realize I'm probably going to get kicked off of YouTube or get uh, it removed this video or whatever and I don't give a flying fuck there we go because this is just too important a subject and what I'm talking about of course is the COVID-19 vaccine um, you know the same people who are promoting this vaccine are the same people who would like to eliminate the Sasquatch because the Sasquatch are teachers they're opening our eyes, they're opening our minds and the Sasquatch are not for this vaccine, they know what it's about I know because I felt their energy around it and uh, you know I know their energy, I know when they talk to me and what they're saying they're not for it they see it for what it is and like I said, the same people who are pushing this agenda the same people who would like to eliminate the Sasquatch because Sasquatch want to wake us up and heaven forbid if we ever woke up and came out of the fear that we're under oh my goodness what a wonderful awakening that would be and it wouldn't be good for those who seek to keep us depressed um, you know money cows through experiments and control now I've talked to uh, a bunch of people lately. I go to a restaurant uh, where it's kind of like a place where we just all talk and chat and kind of like, just like a living room family atmosphere. And I was talking to an older fellow and they were all talking about that they had got their shots and the only guy I asked how he felt or whatever was an older guy and he just had a second shot and he said, I'm not the same person. I don't feel the same, something is different. That's a constant theme that I've heard. Constant theme. Uh, go and check out uh, Eric Clapton, what he said about his vaccine. Uh, he regrets it, big time. Uh, I have a, a friend who's a very, very gifted healer. And, um, you know, very connected into spirit. And I was talking to her a few days back, and her her husband was actually in a in a, a care home because he he lost uh, both of his hands and both of his legs through a diabetic thing. Um, was forced. You know, you're threatened to be kicked out of the facility if he didn't get the, the shots, which I think was a scam because I don't think they would have kicked him out. Personally, I really don't think they would have. But uh, anyway, he succumbed to the fear, which is, you know, what they try to do with us all. And, uh, you know, he said, I am not the same person. I don't enjoy life anymore. I'm not happy. I don't feel right. And his wife, who has always had a psychic connection with him and, and can connect with him telepathically or whatever, has a very, very hard time reaching him now. And that's a constant theme with a lot of healers that I've heard, that they cannot reach people once they've had the vaccine. Uh, so... I'm going to tell anybody who's on the fence and considering it or weighing the options 
don't get it. Don't succumb to the um, the pressure. You know, if they get a vaccine passport up here in Canada, who gives a fuck? I don't have to go to the movies. I'm not a drinker. I don't have to go to the bar. I don't have to go to the sports games. None of that stuff is worth worth it to me to submit to the tyranny that we're all facing right now. And yes, I say tyranny. I mean, this this vaccine has not even uh, been been approved. hasn't even gone through the trials properly. And uh, you know, it's it's really about control. Now, even if the nefarious agenda that you know some people think of, and that I believe there's a lot of truth to, I don't believe everything. I think there's always a gray area, but a whole lot of truth to. Uh, even if you don't believe that, um, just pay attention to the people who are getting the shots and saying they don't feel right. Pay attention to the way they're trying to push it down our throats. The science behind it is faulty. Um, the masks that they're making us wear. There was an independent study on those masks by, uh, I can't remember if it was a school board or a, a county council somewhere in the States or something. I'm not exactly sure what the particulars were, but they tested what was inside those masks and absolutely horrific. Salmonella and all kinds of just terrible, terrible things. Yes, Mr. Raven, you know, in those masks. Uh, you know, the science is faulty. Now, I heard something the other day from a parliamentarian, a good man in, uh, in Canada, one of the few, because we're a piece of shit around here, uh, you know. Uh, at least you guys in the States, a lot of you are fighting and uh, standing up, you know, for what you believe in. We're a bunch of wussies around here. Feels like a zombie nation, for fuck's sakes. But anyway, this uh, guy from Parliament, who is a good guy, <laughs> you, know, you know what he said? Now, if this doesn't ring alarm bells with you, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you've got, um, you got some uh, mental issues. If this does not raise alarm bells with you, this guy, well, of course, you know, the ivervectin, which, you know, they have proven is very, very effective in combating uh, COVID. Yeah, of course, uh, you know, you probably haven't heard that because if you're watching, or I'm not saying everybody, but if people are just watching the news, listening to the media, everything like that is suppressed and, um, you know, removed from uh, from wherever you know it, it's being promoted uh, because um, well because it doesn't support the agenda but you know a lot of good doctors and whatever have have proven that ivervectin does work but of course that information is being suppressed and uh, What does that tell you? That that's really, really unfortunate. That uh, you know, they think so little of us. They're cash cows, and they're they're zombie nation or whatever. That they actually would suppress an actual cure because they want people to remain in fear. They don't want people to have any hope. They want people to get that jab. But the thing that really startled me. This thing insulted my intelligence. And if this doesn't insult your intelligence, I don't know what to say to you. This guy actually said that the medical experts or the people who were talking about, uh, you know, like stuff like ivermectin and some of the other things, natural remedies and, and stuff, actually said that they don't recommend vitamin D which has been something that has been promoted as a preventative for things like COVID. Vitamin D, now they're saying it could be dangerous and they don't recommend it. 
What the fuck? Are you trying to pull on me? Do you think I'm an idiot? Vitamin D? Look, people, if that does not erase alarm bells in you, there's something seriously wrong in your upper story. That's fucked. Vitamin D? Oh my God. I mean, really, they have so little respect for us and they think we're so stupid that we're gonna buy that. And guess what? A lot of you are, a lot of you will. Because all you're listening to is the mainstream news, the mainstream media. You're on your, your little devices or whatever all the time. You're constantly getting bombarded with this bullshit. And that's why up in Canada here, when it's no longer required for now, I'm sure there'll be a, something else coming down the pike, but for now to wear a mask indoors, you know the people that are wearing them? Not the people my age. Some of the really, really old people, because they're scared. But it's usually the young people that I see wearing it. Why? Well, because who's on, on the media all day long? Who's being bombarded with this agenda all day long? The young people. And that's kind of sad for our future. But all I want to say to you, and I, you know, this video is removable, go fuck yourself, whoever removes it, because uh, you're, you're, uh, you're a criminal against society as far as I'm concerned. But uh, if you're considering not getting the COVID-19 jab, I would recommend that, I don't think there's anything that they could inconvenience me with that would make me consider getting it. I choose death over getting that. I seriously do. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite serious. I hope it doesn't come to that, but I'm not getting that thing. And if you're considering one way or the other, I strongly recommend you don't for a couple reasons. For your own personal health and because we have to quit giving in, listening to these lies. We have to quit going along like lemmings jumping off the cliff. We have to stand up for stuff because if enough of us don't stand up, Eventually, we're all going to be hunted down like a witch hunt. So, you know, I'm not telling anybody, you know, that, like I said, you know, nothing's ever black and white. But I would consider anybody who's um, totally bought in to the COVID-19 thing. And I know there's a virus out there, of course. But there's also cures out there that of course that they are suppressing because well if, if there are cures out there I mean how are they gonna accomplish what they're trying to accomplish which is actually about uh, control you know that's uh, it's not only the the COVID-19 thing it's the, the censorship it's all this stuff it's uh, it's like a big socialist truck is coming and gonna run us all over you know it's just our freedoms are being taken away. And so we have to stand up. We have to stand up at any cost. Enough of us have to say, no, I'm not doing this. You know, even if it's inconvenient, even if it changes your life, we have to stand up. But you know, I'm also really, really excited about this. Really excited about it. And that sounds crazy, I know. Because, uh, well, for one thing, many, many months ago, when I was um, contemplating all this stuff, and my vibration was actually being lowered, and I was buying into, not necessarily buying into it, but it was affecting me. And I went into the woods and I asked my Sasquatch people, take the fear away. And I've been really, really strong and had no fear ever since. So I'm really not afraid of what they can do to me. But I suggest look at some of the alternative um, things if you can find them, the alternative opinions. There's a lot of good doctors in the states that are coming forward. They're being suppressed, of course, and talking about this. In Canada as well, suppressed as well. 
but um, you know, kind of weigh the pros and cons and I think that if you do that and you look at it with an open mind, you're going to see that there's something really, really nefarious going on. So, I urge, like I said, any one of you who is on the fence, I suggest that the best thing that you can do, in my opinion, is stand firm in your belief. Because, like I said, if we don't, the ones that do stand firm in their belief eventually could be hunted down like in a witch hunt. And I'm, I'm sure that some people think that that's all right. I mean, I discussed this with people before. I've been called a criminal and that I belong in jail, you know, because of my views for this. But, uh, okay, whatever. You're welcome to your opinion. But, um, look into it. Look into it with a little bit of an open mind. You know, if you're just watching the mainstream news and media and their little devices all the time, you're not going to get the, the full picture. And maybe you'll come to the conclusion that, uh, you know, it's fine. And that's okay. But uh, try to be informed. And like I said, um, Google Eric Clapton and, and the COVID-19 vaccine and see what he said. Uh, you know, um, it's not good. I've talked to, like I said, a few people. They just don't feel right. As a matter of fact, I've only talked to a few people and pretty well everyone I talked to said they don't feel right. So, something wrong with that. Something very, very wrong with that. So I, <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to uh, be on YouTube for. And, uh, you know, I don't give a fuck. They could, they could take me off of YouTube, ban me for life, I don't care. What I do care about is uh, the truth. What I do care about is, is you. And what I do care about is uh, our future. And um, open up your eyes, open up your hearts. I've heard a lot of things people have said the effects of the vaccine, like it, it cuts your connection off to source. And I think that what my friend told me about her husband speaks of that. This lady is a really connected healer and, and you know, she can telepath back and forth with this, with this man. And um, she is having a really, really hard time reaching him and she probably couldn't reach him, except that she's been doing it for so long, but it's really, really hard. Um, and just other things that are being reported, like young people getting heart inflammation. And um, uh, I know uh, a lady who, uh, whose father was in remission from cancer. He got both shots and right away the cancer was back and now he's dead. And he died real soon and he knew. He connected it with the vaccine. Of course... His grandchildren are uh, getting it. Thanks for honoring your grandfather because they want to go and socialize. And while they're socializing, they're actually screwing it up for everybody else because they're submitting to the tyranny. And one day, the tyranny is going to come and hit you. And by that time, it's going to be too late because we'll all be conditioned to just follow along with whatever. So... Stand up for what you believe in, even if it, even if it's not convenient, even if it's not uh, socially acceptable, even if you're shunned by your friends. I mean, I've heard, uh, you know, like people they don't want their grandmother or their their kids to come over or something, and breaking up families because one of the people in the family does not want to get the the vaccine, or they have political beliefs. Or something that do not go along with the um, the accepted ones, I'll say. And it's just ridiculous. The uh, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, 
of course, you know, all this uh, stuff about bringing people together is a crock too. That kind of speaks to that, but anyway, we're just cash cows. Cash cows, and we're going to be cash cows until we say, hey, enough's enough. So I believe in you all. I believe that eventually we will turn things around. And actually, I'm excited about it. I'm actually excited about it in a way because one thing I said, I, I've got no fear on it. I feel actually stronger in my resolve. And the thing is, is, you know, like, it's exciting in the sense that it's always darkest before the light. And I think that, you know, that these drastic things that are going down today, I think that the opportunity, and I think it will happen, is that enough of us will wake up, you know, like, you know, like that vitamin D thing. If that doesn't raise an alarm bell, then wow. But anyway, I do think that enough of us will wake up that we will sway the balance. So, there has to be darkness before light, I suppose. Uh, you know, and so we're in the darkness, so let's bring on the light. And who, who affects that? Who brings it on? Well, we do. We do. You know, one thing um, that I would like you all to consider and of course you have to find this information before it gets taken down because anything that goes against the um, COVID-19 agenda does get taken down. Um, you know, even the vitamin D thing, which is absolutely ins an insult to my intelligence and it should be to yours. That is ridiculous. But, you know, there are a growing number of doctors in the United States and Canada that are standing up and speaking out against this atrocity. And, you know, they are being threatened, shamed, um, ridiculed, you know, by their colleagues. And actually their, their livelihood is being threatened. They're being threatened and some of them have lost their jobs. And, you know, why would somebody do that. It's never happened before a large group of doctors and come together against something that they believe in so fervently. Uh, you know, there's been problems with vaccines, I, I guess, for a while. I mean, there's been some horror stories. But, uh, and, you know, certain, certain, um, people have, have spoken out about it, you know, especially people who have been affected by it. But, uh, you know, it hasn't been like a, a widespread movement of um, doctors and, and whatever that are speaking out against it. And there's a lot more than people think. Uh, but of course, it's being suppressed. So why would a doctor risk his livelihood and his profession and you know, um, supporting his family and all the things that he went to medical school for, for all those years, for something that he did not believe in fervently. Um, you know, I mean, this one guy said, well, there's a patient in my office, they can't breathe. And the research into cures like iverve ivermectin, for instance, which does actually work. Um, you know, the doctor's aware of that. And, and he's also being threatened that if he ever says anything or prescribes anything like that to a patient, that he could be disbarred. And it's just like, it's, it's atrocious. And I say that the people, the doctors that are not suggesting these alternative remedies, if they know they exist, they are the people who should be disbarred. You're not a doctor. You're not doing your, your oath as a doctor to protect and to take care of your patients. You're doing exactly the opposite. You're a hypocrite. 
So the guys that are actually caring and see somebody suffering in their office and, and, and offer them some help that goes against what the agenda is, those guys are the heroes. You other guys, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be disbarred. And I'll tell you what, uh, I don't go to the doctor much. I'm pretty healthy. But if I do, I'm not going to go to one of those, uh, those snake charmer guys that's pushing this nonsense. No doctor is going to put his livelihood, a, a series of doctors, on the line if they don't really, really believe what they're doing. And look into it if you can find it, because they're out there, and their warning is, you know, they've never done that before except for this. So, what does that tell you? Just open your mind a little bit. Get off of the mainstream media. Look for some other answers, and then just weigh, weigh them, you know, weigh, weigh it in your head. I mean, what, what, what feels right? Um, you know, I like that vitamin D thing, like I said, if that doesn't shock the heck out of you, vitamin D could hurt you? What? Okay, man, thanks a lot. Uh, you really consider me to be that big of an idiot that I'm going to buy that? I mean, that's, that's an insult. Sorry. So, you know, why are the people that are trying to put the truth out there, professionals, being ridiculed, like I said, threats to lose their jobs? Um, it's, it's sick. It's a sick freaking world that we have to turn around. And, uh, you know, they don't give a crap about our health. All they give a crap about is our compliance. So, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to comply. And uh, I hope uh, enough of you don't comply so that they don't come looking for me and people who are awake and uh, hunt us down like witches. I mean, you know. Um, this lady I was talking to that... Uh, she couldn't reach her husband like she used to. Uh, she has relatives from the past that were burned as witches, burned at the stake in the witch hunts. And, uh, you know, is that what's going to happen to us? <laughs> because, uh, you know, those people were actually awakened. Those people were actually healing people. But uh, ignorance snuff them out. Ignorance caused them to be burned at the stake. And uh, we're not that much smarter these days. Same freaking thing is going on. So I implore you to just consider things. And stand up for things. Stand up for what you know is right. When I um, do speak of this in public, at that restaurant that I talked about, um, you know, where it's kind of like a family living room type, type atmosphere, everyone's just laughing and joking and whatever. Um, when I do bring some of these things up, quite often I'll get the response, oh, you're one of those guys, eh? You know, meaning a conspiracy theorist. And, um, First of all, I don't think, uh, I think a conspiracy theorist is uh, an insult because it insinuates that you don't know what the hell you're talking about, but, that, but that's fine. But uh, my response would be to that, damn right I am, damn right I am.